Good morning, Parkside. Pastor Reed here with you this morning, and don't let the white stuff on the ground fool you. It is disc golf season, and uh, that's right, it is disc golf season. We've got all of our baskets out, and we got the tees put out that have been put away over the winter, and the course is open. The app, the UDisc app, is updated. So grab a friend grab a neighbor, grab some people that we can share the love of Jesus with and bring them on out, invite your neighbors and friends and grab, of course, a disc to come and play on the course. Uh, some of you might need it to warm up a little bit first, but the rest of us can play. Uh, we've got a few invitations and things that we want to uh, share with you this morning as a part of our church community. And so let's get to the rest of them. First of all, we want to share a huge thank you to everybody who donated food to the bin that was in our lobby, the Food for Vets program that one of our high school students was doing a service project. She set a goal of collecting 200 pounds of food and you all helped collect over 220 pounds of food, uh, surpassing her goal by quite a bit. And the bonus of that also is we got to share, uh, we got to share something uh, with our community and people who are in need and that food is gonna go and help feed some people in need. So thank you to everyone who volunteered or, uh, and gave uh, sacrificially even to that program. We're so grateful for it. We also have some needs. If you look in your bulletin, you might see a little sign that says help wanted and we want to feature this this week. We have some needs in our children's ministry, particularly Sunday school, but even in our Awana program, we have some, some gaps that we'd like to help fill. Uh, maybe substitute teachers or we've got some of our regular teachers who are PCSing in a couple of months. And so we encourage you, if you are interested or willing to help with children's ministry, contact Laura Myers, our new children's ministry director. I say new, it's been a few months now. Her information is in the bulletin and you should recognize her because she's done our invitation announcements uh, a couple times in the last month. But uh, contact her, she can help you get connected with what the commitment looks like or what options there are and making sure we can get you all the training you need to be able to do uh, the ministry for children's ministry. And the last thing we want to invite you to this morning is our Good Friday service that is coming up this Friday at 6 p.m. Good Friday is a solemn time when we remember the death of Jesus on the cross. We will be sharing in communion together and we will be remembering and sharing a time of prayer and of worship. And it's just, uh, it, it will be a really good time for us as a church community to come together and remember part of the reason why we have a hope for uh, this life and for the life beyond is because of Jesus' death. And yes, next Sunday morning on Easter, we'll celebrate his resurrection as well. But spend a few minutes with us this week to, uh, to slow down and quiet down and let's think about and remember the cost that it was for us to be made right with God and for us to be welcomed in uh, and put, put, put right with God and welcomed into his kingdom. So, thanks for being with us this morning, Parkside. We hope you have a great week, and God bless you. Uh, looks like I got to get out and practice some more.